Y'all, I can't even right now. I was trying so hard to make sure I had everything set up for this. You guys can't even see all the stuff that is on my desk. But I am perpetually fighting with my planning system and, and how to get it to work for me. I'm trying to calm down a little bit. I'm doing this right after work and trying to get into some other things. I did pick up the Vander Speck Touch Me to Back pocket size with 25 millimeter gold rings. Because I want it to replace my current wallet slash pocket size, which I keep with me. I also wanted something that was going to be big enough to hold my planner. I don't know. I don't know. I have watched a ton of reviews and it seems to me like this little cutie is going, it was referred to as pumpkin spice. Oh, 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 oh. I really struggled because I like my notique for my half letter, but I don't like the layout of the inside when it comes to being a wallet slash planner. So it smells like leather and it is leather. I have a big back pocket. And plenty of slots where I need them. So I'm just gonna pull these out. So I will put in the other things I need to put in later, but again. The big back pocket and the inside of that is leather as well. And then I've got a little zip here. The inside of this is, it feels like a cloth, which is fine because honestly, this is probably gonna get more beat up anyway. An outward facing slide, two secretarial pockets, three credit card slots, and then two pockets here. I'm not huge on deco on the inside. So let let us let us get into into the mess that is going to be this thing. I have some art. I have a Spock Hello Kitty. I mean, I'm not gonna comment on the fact that it's a red shirt and Spock wasn't a red shirt, but you know, it's neither here nor there. We recognize the live long and prosper. All right, a lot can happen in a year. I do have, I love fall, so I'm super excited to have something for fall. But mo mostly I wanted to get some of this stuff. There's my page lifter and I did, my printables are printed in Pocket Plus, which is pocket size, size to 105% or A6 size down to 86%. So some of this that's pre-printed is going to be regular pocket, some of it is going to be pocket plus. Okay. Just trying to get my my stuff around what I want to go in here first. So let's start with our inbox. This inbox is from cloth and paper, and yes, it does have it's got the backer on there. I know you have a backer. Okay, so I've got my slip pocket here. I don't think I'm gonna put this in yet because I do want to keep private stuff private. So this section is usually going to be my private stuff. So I'm gonna put, um, Hold off. What do I want to dashboard with over it? So I think right now this is going to be the front. This is something that I made. So it's some paper from Michaels and some stickers from Michaels. And then I just use scissors to cut that out. Is there anything special that I want to use for? So I'll throw my whatevs. And there you can see the you can see the size difference. Eventually I'm going to make pocket plus tabs, but this is just to start with, so I'm not overly concerned. No, it's 
All right, I have some cloth and paper. Here yearly overview, which I actually really do like. I'm not going to, you're not going to see me transfer everything out onto this on here. I just, it doesn't feel like that is a good idea to do. That would go with a lot can happen in a year. I did pick up these dashboard pages. So it's the inbox insert because I do, I did like the idea of doing a week on one page and then having a place for like notes. I'm still playing with it. I was still playing with that in a different size though. I also picked up the Hobonichi style weeks because I like that as well and I do want to test that out. And then I did pick up the horizontal, which I did not prepare. Why, 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 why brain did we not prepare, did we not prepare these? So I really like these. I've seen them in pocket size. I think they're super neat in pocket size as well. So I think I might use these. And I actually really like them as an idea for pocket size. I really like these. I can't get them in A6 though. Cloth and paper restock those, please. All right. And then I have some habit tracker type stuff. This is for my goals. So these are something from Danielle Laporte. All right, and then I printed out, I resized and printed out. This is from Paper Test. I think this is gonna be too small for me. From a printable and then a daily. I'm gonna set those aside. And I have some more, more deco inserty type stuff. I'm just going to set those aside because I just can't be bothered with that right now. Order tracker, wish list. This guy's going to go in the front for my planning. And then I've just, I've got some more stuff that I wanted to try out in here. In terms of like weeklies and stuff, but I do want to go with that cloth and paper. All right, and I've got some extras of these that I typically keep in the personal section. So I'll just throw those in there for now. The fact that this is also bigger is going to work neatly. So purchases, order tracker, add to planner, Okay, I'm not gonna go with it that yet. I do want to throw down my add to planner section. All right, my grind section, which is these guys. It's usually my filming schedule it goes in my grind section. And no, I haven't snipped these either. I'm going to have to go back and do that, that's okay. I have my monthly trackers, which are going to go over here. Those trackers will actually go in with the month once we get there. I usually like my goals actually before my calendar. So I'm just gonna throw my goals in here. I'll do the overview first, just from a sizing standpoint. Oh, my tracker is, I did not size up my tracker. Okay, so the tracker can't go there. All right, we're gonna get into the months. So I've got my July, and then I already had some pre-printies. All right, so I'm just gonna pull up my calendar here, mainly just so I can see the month, because we're not going to use these. These I know from pocket size are too small for me. So I'm gonna grab my first horizontal weekly here. I've been using a lot, so we're 
did look up July. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I'm not sure how many months are going to fit in here, so I will I will start that out there. And then let's just snip this. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm being dumb and not just doing this as we go. Because if I don't, then I'm gonna go pull something out and I'm gonna have problems and yeah, 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 yeah. I printed out so much dang deco for this. All right, so there is July. And then I'm gonna put this in like this. And then I've got my tiny little today here in Brooklyn Grace. And that goes in there. So typically I have that. And then after my monthly, I do my financial section. So I'm just going to, I already had pre-printies for a bunch of stuff. So order tracker. Or I have this Studio L2E, I can't remember, this is Infinite Lotus, and then Studio L2E is already printed. So I'm just going to, see, and I like this, I like my money covered too. I'm just gonna put in this Pretty Hearts for right now. I'm just taking a look at other stuff. I have other deco that I made. Just all kinds of really fun things in here. These, these are real tight rings and they are cross rings, which is awesome. So we're just gonna go back to our goals. I mean, yeah, what I'm probably gonna do is size, size these, print this, and then just use the little tab to make the tabs. So habit tracker. I do kind of want accessible overview. And then we'll start throwing down goals. So I got this as a freebie from the planner spot. I actually thought it was really cool to write down a goal and then to have the things daily, weekly, and monthly that you can do to meet that goal. I thought that was super cool. I'm only gonna put in one sheet. Well, we'll set the other one aside. And then I have my regular cloth and paper goals tracker here, which I'm not gonna use all at once either. I'm just gonna put in a couple. Maybe we'll just feed those into each other. All right, so deco, oh, no, the cloth and paper five-year plan. I am going to put the five-year plan in here for now. It'll probably come out I might try to do just some fill-in on it. Let's see how we're doing so far for space. So we're we're doing okay. I mean, we're not, we're not doing too terribly. I kind of think I might just go with this inbox here and take this off. Too messed up. I don't think I filled anything out in here. I started filling this out in my... What do I have it in? Do I have it in my half letter? I think I've got it in my half letter. I, do, I have so much deco stuff though. I'm not a huge deco person. I just like a little bit of deco. I might have to repunch this. Nope, now it's turning fine. Some of them are going fine. Some of them aren't. Like this one didn't. With cloth and paper, the rings might be too wide for this to turn. See, no, no, it seems okay. See, some of them seem okay and some of them don't. Why? So some of the cloth and paper stuff I have to repunch for pocket because their holes are just, see, just a little bit narrower they're for a smaller ring planner. 
once you start, once the rings start getting larger, the holes need to be larger. And also the positioning on some of their stuff is off. I don't know why, it's only some things. So some things are fine, and then some things I have to go through and I have to repunch. See, and I have Cornell notes and I have regular notes. We're going to use the Cornell notes first, though. So I still have lots of room. So we are not in a bad position in terms of space, which I'm super excited about. So let's just, just grab our today. I do have a CMP, which I think the tab will actually drop a little bit more than this. I really like this, but I don't think it's going to work for, for the plus. I'm going to have to, wow, wow, where, where is this? Why is this not working? Okay, it's down here, sorry. Okay, I'm just going to repunch this real quick. pocket and it really didn't need to be repunched so and I'm just I put these little slices in to make stuff easier so that I'm not constantly opening and having to close rings because that annoys me to no end and can be damaging to the rings okay so this works in here just fine for for today which I want to be able to find quickly so I will find another use for this guy Okay, so I don't know. So I've got August. It's much the same. I'm just going to pull out what I've already done for August. Yeah, I guess monthly is fine. If I repunch, I, I don't know. The monthly seemed fine for some reason. So we left off. On the sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So I've got through September and then October and I'll probably need to buy November and December, but I am just going to set these behind October so that when I get there, I remember what I'm doing and I'm going to keep these in a different place because they're actually going in here. So let's see, I have three months. Oh my gosh, that is so, that is so sweet. That is so, I mean, I just, this warms my little heart to 
have so much stuff be in here. And then something I picked up. So I picked this up for my, from a wonderful shop that actually sent me a very cute note. This is two weeks on Mars off of Etsy. Their stuff is amazing. I like this because it's purplish and purple is kind of my thing. And then she included a little freebie, which is actually the star. And I cannot remember if I was looking at this on her, on her Etsy site or not, but I absolutely love it. And I think it might really be the first thing that goes in here to go on the clasp. I am just, I am so tickled because there was a bunch of stuff I was looking at, but I was afraid that I was going to order all of this kind of deco stuff. And then I wasn't really going to use it. And I didn't want to like order all kinds of deco and then not use it. I was going to put my little fox on there, which will also match, but I really like the star right now. I think it is so sweet. We are going to use that on our pole. And I'm going to open this guy up because I do want to use it in here. So, I mean, it, it seems super simple. I love how I love how that's done, but it just I felt it would just be pretty to put to put for my I'm wondering if it might be better to do it on the side to just toss in here for oh man it's so pretty you know what I don't think I'm gonna put that as the marker for my just because I write so much on there I don't think I'm gonna use that actually for my media planner. Can I throw it in here right now? Throw it here for now. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw it here for now. And then I will find I'm gonna find a place in here for it, but I just I couldn't I couldn't not. I it just it spoke to me. Anybody else anybody else like that where you just see something that speaks to you? And then I do need a pen for in here though. Oh, that is Villa Beautiful, Free Spirit, and that, hands down, this this was made for the TM to back. I love that this isn't super squishy leather. I kind of had to force it in there a little bit. Let's see. Um, so I think top or bottom tabs, if I'm going to tab the... Yeah, top or bottom tabs if I'm going to tab the Pocket Plus. Otherwise, with just regular pocket tabs, it's fine. It's fine. It's not a thing. All right, so is there anything else that needs to go in here? I'm actually going to keep these because I think they're super cute, which is why I did not do anything with them. I'm going to set her info aside. I think I think while we are chit-chatting, let's... I've only got a few more minutes. Let's let's move the deco stuff. Let's get the deco stuff together first and foremost. So these guys do still have to go in there somewhere. My actual fall stuff is right here. That's from Planner Press. This I pulled offline from somewhere and I cannot remember where, but it was so beautiful. I don't remember if it was a meme. And I just, the witch... I can't really read the artist's name, so if you recognize that, let me know who that is. But I just like, I almost want to cry every time I see this because it is just so special. And then I have, let me just point out my favorite stack. These are things I made from Villa Beautiful that I just sized. This, I don't even remember where I got this from. These are like my favorites. So I'm going to put my favorite stack. And I'm just gonna keep my favorites together. I'm gonna throw these guys back here. I used to use this a lot, and I think I'm actually going to shove this one somewhere in there. And then these guys are favorites as well. I made these with just paper from Michaels. So I'm going to throw those, up, throw those on top as favorites. And then I just, I have more and things that I haven't even punched. I have a picture of, of my cats and one that's passed away. This is a favorite as well. I'm going to throw that on top. I actually thought I was going to use that in the planner this time around. That is also just something I printed from Villa Beautiful. 
And then I have this card from Villa Beautiful from the most recent kit that I did want as well. I don't need that guy. All right. The extra stuff, I'm just going to quickly put together like the stuff that I'm just not using right now, but may use like stuff I tested. I have different weekly plans. I have different weekly layouts. But I think cloth and paper with that with that layout has they've just they've hit it out of the park. I would love to see them offer a pocket plus. I do not believe they do. So I just, I'm just trying to get all my pocket stuff organized and into a pile so that when I go to put it away, I know right where it goes. All right. These are also pocket stuff. I love this iconic from cloth and paper. I was so excited when I could get it in, in at least pocket size. All right. And then the stuff that stays in my drawer is right here. I'm going to put that in my drawer right now. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna use this, so I will put that over there and then I have, I wish this set it at the top so I could just stick it in the pocket and have it say aesthetic. All right, on these, let me just do a quick snipper Rooney. Fall, again, is my absolute favorite time of year. I love the colors of fall, all that good stuff. I gotta kind of wrap this up a touch. That really flops open, which I think might bug me a little bit. Yeah, see that won't fit in that front pocket there. Okay. You know, I thought this would work in here. I'm actually not liking the colors. It's, it's a little too cool. So I'm gonna pull that out for now. I do love this. I've been to London and Vegas. I've not been to Paris. I would love to go to Paris, but I thought it would be neat to put down the places I've been on there. So I've been using that for most of the sticker kits I got. Let's just throw the reference stuff in here. And then I made these two myself. So they're just, they're basically just business card laminations like this one's this one's coming apart here at the bottom but that's fine because the rest of it's holding and then I just I was like well I can slip things in them and and then if I want to I can just you know I can just toss them in here or I could just be like okay there there might be too much stuff in here to do it this way but like I could just you know I could just that, that looks really pretty in here but I don't think I'm gonna put those in there for now I think this stuff is also gonna get put away, saved for later. I'm totally gonna snap my fingers when I do this. Okay. So there is that. I know it's gonna bug, it's gonna bug people that I have fall on there already, but I, I don't care. So again, that is all, this is a Peanuts Planner Co printable. I get into it, so I'll have the grind, I'll have my goals my trackers. I really don't think the five-year plan needs to be in here. I just think if I'm going to use this, I'm going to use this in the bigger planner. I'm going to pull it out. If I do use this, maybe what I will do is Keep it in a dedicated space. I just don't think it needs to be taking up space in my in my actual planner and you know just kind of making things difficult for me. So there it is, less chunkified. I like the big bag of pockets because I'll be able to put like stickers and stuff in there that I want to have with me. Let me do I have anything in here? No. I think I do in here because I have been using this guy more. So I have like some deco and this guy I definitely don't want just okay, 
I'm gonna put that in there. Can stay there. This will most definitely not fit in here. So I am going to pull the things out of here. And we'll set that aside. Maybe what, what I will do is I will just leave that in a notique because that will be for notique. What about this? Does this, will this guy fit in here? back here. What? Is this making this not going to fit? Wow, that moves around a lot more than in the other one. I'm just trying to see. I mean, that it's fine as long as it's all the way over. But I don't think I need it for this. My extra stickers in the back. Wow, why is this moving so much? Okay, that might not be a good idea to put there. Okay, that moves around way too much on this texture. Okay, so I really love this, but I don't want to lose it either. See like how it barely moves, well, not barely, but it, it doesn't move as much on that. Okay, so I'm gonna take my take beanie off. I'll just worry about that later. Um, this guy probably shouldn't be sticking to the leather. <laughs> But I still do want to see it. So where can I stick it? <laughs> Maybe what I will do is just add to my finance section. Here, I'm just gonna pop it right there. I just have something really, really pretty and beautiful right, right over my, ooh, ooh. got a little stuck there for a second right over my finance section. I'm totally gonna mangle that in my handbag, I'm just saying. But that is it, you guys will see it more. I have to go through, forgot to throw this in the back. I'm just gonna throw that in here. I will go through, you know, and, and update, you know, dates and everything, all that good stuff. Once I get there, I'm just trying to quickly clean up some stuff here as well. And I will catch y'all in the next one. As always, have a great rest of your time.